Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for Badger's Picks for the week of June 16th. Let's see who's free this week and which four champions I'm going to recommend. Free this week, it looks like we will be seeing Akali, Amumu, Blitzcrank, Draven, Aurelia, Lissandra, Master Yi, Misfortune, Nami, and Twisted Fate. And as for my first recommendation for this week, I'm going to throw that one over to Lissandra. I like her a lot as a champion. I think she's uh, very strong. We've seen a few tweaks to her, but she's still very good. The main thing I actually like about her, besides a lot of crowd control, is a very spammable Q, which is very, very nice. It's lots of damage output. But the other thing is she can get to the back line and lock down a very important target and assassinate them quickly. Or she can always jump into the back line and just alt herself and deal a lot of damage while the rest of her team initiates. This is another good combination too to try it out. But she just dives into teams or she can get away with it too. Um, and it just makes her very strong and gives her good utility to have the opportunity to create plays when it's necessary. So try out Lissandra if you're looking for some good initiation. The next champion I am going to recommend is going to be Miss Fortune. Now, I do like Miss Fortune for a few reasons. I think she's got a pretty strong mid, early-ish, and mid, mostly mid game. Really not late. The reason why I say not late is because her range starts to become a factor when she does need to be safer in the late game. The other thing too is her ultimate does fall off, but before it does fall off, she is really good in those early team fights while you're still kind of in that laning phase. She does really, really well with people who can lock down targets to keep them inside of her ultimate. Champions like Thresh or Leona or Nautilus, all very good choices to keep players locked down in her ultimate. So because of this, she can farm really well and get a good early lead and win in the mid game. So if you're looking for another ADC you want to play, try out Misfortune. The next champion I'm going to recommend is a champion a lot of people don't like that I recommend, but I'm going to do it anyways because there's great reasons. It's Blitzcrank. I know he's not the most expensive, although this week doesn't actually have a lot of expensive champions in it. They're mostly older ones, but Blitzcrank um, has just decent laning. Obviously, he can zone quite well or rip people into his towers, but the main reason why I think Blitzcrank is an important champion we don't even see him that often anymore. People don't really harass play him anymore, but he creates opportunities in the mid and late game that puts his team in a position to win. When you can play Blitzcrank and land a hook on a high priority target, such as a AP mid laner, maybe somebody like an Ari, you pull them in, you silence them and knock them up, your team finishes them off. You've created a very large play, getting rid of one of their carries and setting up a 4v5, where you can now control the map, get an objective, get towers, get an inhibitor, push and take the advantage because he creates this opportunity by separating somebody out. So um, Blitzcrank's very strong because of this. I highly recommend you play him for this reason. And as for my final champion recommendation for this week, I'm going to go with Irelia. Now, I personally do not play her a lot, but that doesn't mean I don't like her. She is a good champion. She's been very strong for a long time, too. Um, she comes in and out of, you know, favor within the meta, but she's got a very strong kit. She does true damage. She can heal while she's in lane by just auto-attacking passively. And then she also has, like, great tenacity with her uh, passive. She's got the Q reset. Like, she's got a lot in her kit that's really helpful. Now, keeping track of all these things within her kit can be a little difficult at first, like knowing when you can reset off your Q, when you should dive in, you know, all of those things, when you'll get the stun versus when you'll get the slow. But because of her kit and because of how powerful we've seen her be, um, I, I really do recommend her if you're looking for a top laner that needs a little bit of finesse to learn but is very strong overall, you might want to try out Irelia. Those are the champions that are going to be free this week. Like I said, most of these are actually pretty older, it would seem. We did have Echo last week, who's new, new, but um, these are pretty old champions for the most part. So if you don't own them, try out any of the ones I suggested. Also, let me know down below in the comments out of these champions, which four you might be trying out this week. I always like to know who you will be playing for the free week. As you know, there's boxes around these portraits. You can click on them. It will take you to those build videos. Um, but other than that, just good luck this week on the fields.